That was a crazy drive home last night. 20 seconds earlier, I might not have been here. I'm sorry, look at the state of me. Yesterday was quite a long day, and you can tell I've done a gig because my voice is ugh. Anyway, we finished a gig, and then coming home, whoa. You know when you think, if we'd have just been 20 seconds earlier, it could have all been so different. I just want to start by saying that everybody is okay and nobody's been hurt. We were driving home from last night's gig, it was quite late, and when we got to a certain point, there was a lorry on the side of the road in a lay-by, and he was waving people down with a great big torch. It's dark and we were on a dual track. What's that? So I slowed right down, and I was looking in front of me, I put my full beam on, then I saw a load of rubble in the road, and right in front of us was a lady waving her arms, there was another lad holding his head, and there was just this mess of a car right in the middle of the road. So we pulled up to it, this woman came over, she had blood on her hands, blood on her feet. I think she had a bit of bleeding in her mouth. They were all right, they were walking. I am amazed they got out of the car. Anyway, they were, that's the main thing. They were okay. Now apparently what had happened, he looked over to his girlfriend and he said he just clipped the curb, going at 70 miles an hour. The back end span out, he tried to pull it back and as it turned, he just started flipping the car and it kept rolling, just kept going over and over and it landed on its roof. I mean, the car was a mess. Obviously, I think they were both in a little bit of shock which is pretty normal so we got a jacket on the girl made sure she was warm uh, we called an ambulance we called the police everyone that needed to be called they were called there were more people with us that sort of pulled up got out checked everything was all right that was fine it was just one of those moments where you think if we'd have just been a little bit earlier we could have been involved in that it's actually quite scary isn't it i've been in a car accident guy's been in a car accident i'm sure there are people watching this that have been in a car accident and then when you see that sort of thing and you realize just how lucky they've been it is a little bit mad anyway i've got a picture of the car i'm going to show it to you and it's not me glorifying it it's just so you can just like know exactly what it was we didn't actually see the accident as they were calling out the car we got around the corner anyway this is what we found when i put the full beam on that is the state of the car she wanted her handbag and her stuff and her phone out of the car. So we got in and we got it. It wasn't a pretty sight from the inside. But everything was sorted and the main story is those guys are all right. But the car, I think they've pretty much lost that now. And I just thought I wanted to share that with you as a little bit of life on the road. And by the way, I couldn't have filmed it. So let's think about it. Yesterday, Guy arrived and he brought me Twinkies. <laughs> So excited. Do you know what's so cool about Twinkies? Can you remember the movie The Ghostbusters? I'm sure this is where they became really popular. Egon used a Twinkie to explain something to do with ghosts and to blah blah. Sorry about the washing machine, it's all kicking off, but you know, you've got to wash clothes, haven't you? This is so exciting. Although I'm a little bit worried this might become a thing and I then have to have Twinkies forever. With the creamy filling. Thanks, guy. Look at it. Who are you gonna call? Bam 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 bam. Mm, 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 mm. If you've never had a Twinkie, get yourself a Twinkie. Mm. The right thing to do would be to check if Gemma wants one. Just the one. Would you like a Twinkie? That's the one enough. More for me! I've got to go down to Sainsbury's. I've got to pick up some shopping, some essentials. What the f I think I might have found a bag of rubbish from yesterday's gig. Unbelievable. Here we go. No, we don't. Here we go.
That's it, you're officially on the block. That was rubbish. Always look at the elbow. She taught me this, look at the elbow, you never miss a high five. <laughs> I didn't look at her elbow. <laughs> Almost. She wants me to pick up ladies' things. How do I know what things to get? Such a choice. Apparently, as long as I can fly, they're the ones. It's so hot. Well, there you go. There's a bit of shopping done. I think everyone's so pleased to see me. That's the main thing. I love them in Sainsbury's. They're also so nice. And the woman you saw at checkout, that was Michelle. And she says she watches every show. So, uh, hello, Michelle. Thanks for watching. And you do a superb job for Sainsbury's. It's actually so hot that everything I just bought is probably melting right now. Cheers, mate. I decided to wear a black jacket. Fatty strikes again. Unbelievable, isn't it? I was gonna go and get my car washed, but as I bought some frozen stuff and it's so hot, I don't think I've got time to leave it in the car. So I'm just gonna get home. Everybody's favorite's home. Hello, darling. Nothing for you, I'm afraid. Huh. I've done nothing but eat cake for the last couple of days, and now Twinkies. Anyway, listen, I've had a really busy 24 hours, been on the road, and last night was really late, so I'm gonna sign off for today. And don't forget to give the video a thumbs up, share it with your mates, get everyone to subscribe, and for all those that already do, or already have, thank you so much. I'm just gonna keep eating cake. I'll see you tomorrow.